This is a short video showing the bronze cast vessel titled Gratitude. It was inspired by the California poppy plant. The vessel's shape mirrors the profile of folded hands, a posture of gratitude. Here we see the vessel form once completed after hand building and sculpting the form in water-based clay. All of the details seen here in this original will be captured in the wax and subsequent bronze piece that we create. Once I complete the original piece, a mold is created, allowing us to create a negative form of the piece before carefully pouring a wax model of it. This wax model is what will give us our new positive form of the piece. A new wax must be poured for each piece being cast within the addition, and both the interior and exterior of this piece must be thoroughly cleaned, or technically the term is dressed, in the wax until it matches the original piece. Here we see the undressed wax as it appears uh, immediately after being released from the mold, so you can see the amount of work needing to be done. Once the wax is cleaned, gates or sprues are methodically attached to allow for proper flow of the molten bronze, and a pouring cup is attached to one of these gates as an entry point for the bronze. Next, the piece is dipped into a cleaning solution, and then it goes through the investment process. Investing means repeated dippings of the piece into a silica type solution that tries to create a ceramic shell around the wax model. Several layers, as many as seven, are required with thorough drying between each dip. And when this process is complete, we will have about a 3 8 inch shell around the piece. Here we see that shell once it is dry. Next, the piece is placed into an autoclave, and this produces pressurized steam to melt the wax away, hence the term lost wax. After being warmed in the furnace, the piece is seated into a sand bed for the amazingly beautiful pouring of the 2000 degree molten bronze. Once poured, the bronze must be allowed to completely cool before beginning to remove the shell. The gates, now in metal, will be cut off, and all the shell particles, which appear as white in this photograph, must be carefully removed to once again bring the vessel to a level that matches the original sculpture. When the metal chasing or cleaning is complete, the patina process begins. Because of the multicolored patinas on my work, this is a lengthy process requiring great skill and attention to detail. Various pigments, chemicals, and dyes are applied using a propane torch. The control of color is obtained through various strengths of the solutions applied at different temperatures and applied to appropriate surface textures. The Gratitude Limited Edition of 54 pieces sold out long ago, although two artist proofs do remain available for purchase. Remembering Gratitude is a more recent release of a second vessel also featuring the beloved poppy plant. Remembering Gratitude is currently available for purchase.